I've posted a few explainers about the difference between fixed and variable products within the insurance sphere, fixed annuities and fixed life insurance versus variable annuities, variable life insurance. Um, and I've also talked a little bit about fixed index annuities and fixed index life insurance and how they have caps and floors and participation rates. Today I wanted to just add one more little video about a new type of specifically variable annuity I'm seeing, which seems to try to have it a little bit of both between a fixed index annuity and a variable annuity. Now to be clear, it is a variable annuity because you can lose money. In a fixed index annuity, you can't lose in the market net of fees. You can lose money to fees, but your base investment amount can't lose due to market loss. Inside of this type of annuity, you can lose money. It's called a registered index linked annuity, or some people call it a structured annuity, but whatever it's called, they employ different lower floors, sometimes a floor of negative five or negative 10, whereas a fixed index annuity will almost always have a floor of zero. A registered index link annuity will take more risk where you can lose and have a lower floor, or they may employ what's called a buffer, where instead of having a floor of zero, they may say you have a buffer below zero of let's say negative 10%, a 10% buffer. So that if the market drops anywhere between zero and negative 10, they will bring you back up to zero. And if you lose anything above 10%, they will subtract the 10% from whatever you lose. So if you lose 20% with the 10% buffer, you'd only be down 10%. So if the market, I should say, lost 20%, your account would only be down 10 because you had a 10% buffer. Why would they do this? Why is there a value to that instead of just having a true zero floor? Well, because you're taking more risk, as is often the case with investments, you are able to purchase more upside. You're able to get more return. The more risk you take with an investment, generally speaking, the likelihood of a higher return. These registered index linked annuities open you up to more risk. The 10% buffer you could lose if the market goes down more than 10%. The negative 10 floor, well, if the market is down negative 5%, you lost negative 5%. But a lot of times they're going to provide you with a higher cap on the upside or a greater participation rate on the upside of the market. Again, it's something to be aware of simply because as people are trying to reduce risk but may not want to give up as you know, a complete upside on the market, may not want to go into cash or CDs, may not want to go into a true fixed product with a fixed interest rate, it's good to be aware of all the options. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. And if you have any other questions about any of the products I've talked about, give us a call, 941-951-0443. Or email me, jeremy at wealthenjoyment.com.